After several years of careful planning, on March 2, 1911, the cornerstone for the Rice Institute Administration Building was laid, and the new university officially put down roots in Texas soil. Uh, when you think about 100 years ago, and it's kind of difficult to think about this university being one building in a prairie with uh, 300 acres where nothing else was around, hardly a, 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 was no paved road. By the fall of 1912, the first buildings had been completed, 12 faculty recruited, and 59 students matriculated. Here on the edge of the city, what must have seemed almost the edge of civilization to some of the faculty, Mr. Rice's dream had come to fruition. Well, I think the centennial celebration for Rice uh, certainly is meaningful and personal to those who have attended the university, who have had something to do with the university, whether they were a faculty member here or worked here, it's all one family. The theme for the university centennial is celebrate Rice. But we at Rice celebrate our roots in and our relationship to Houston and Texas. The centennial celebration, which is scheduled for October of 2012, and in fact the centennial campaign that is ongoing now, is setting Rice in a position to validify the maturity of Rice University. It says we have accomplished in a hundred years what we set out to, and we are now setting out to accomplish another hundred years. The one billion dollar goal is audacious. That's what Rice has been from the beginning. It was a very audacious idea to go out in the middle of a prairie outside of a town that no one had heard of and build a world-class university. That's what Rice is. It has this uncommon ability to take on what the world says is too much and then to accomplish it.